let's talk about Nimona by Noel Stevenson. Nimona is the story of Nimona, a girl who's a shapeshifter and can turn into basically anyone and any creature you can possibly think of, including sharks, flies, and dragons, because they're the coolest animals there are. Nimona joins Sub Black Hot, this super villain, and she wants to destroy everything and be bad and just kick some ass, because that's just like any other day. But turns out that Sir Black Hot is not so black hearted after all. See what I did there? Not funny. He's not that bad and his only beef is with Sir Golden Loy and the institution of law enforcement. After invading the institution, they find some plans that are not exactly good for the people. So they want to expose the institution for what it really is. Sir Golden Loy is kind of the superhero in the story, but not really because we're all cheering for the bad guys here. Well, actually not really the bad guys, if that makes any sense. And while they're trying to prove they're not really bad after all, and that the institution has these plans, Sir Blackheart is trying to get to know anymore who has a really secret past and doesn't really want to talk about her time before finding him. There's a lot of mystery about who Nimona really is and how she got these powers and the institution is also really interested. This is a story about good and bad and friendship, forgiveness and shocks. Shocks are a really important thing in this story. This is one of the coolest graphic novels I ever read. I had already heard great things about it. I was really curious to read and when I finally did, the drawings are amazing. The story develops in the perfect way, in the perfect way. Them. The characters are so interesting and complete. Ah, it's, just, it's such a great story. Nimona is an amazing character, and the tension between Sir Golden Law and Sir Blackheart is amazing. They have a past, they knew each other for years and years. So it's all about relationships and mysteries. Halfway through the reading, I was depressed because I knew this was ending. I read it in a day, and I was so sad. I wish it had like 500 more pages. Because this is the kind of book you fall in love with the characters and you just want some more. The author actually started writing this graphic novel online. If I'm not mistaken, in her Tumblr, I'll leave the link in the doobly-doo. There's not a lot of content there like it used to have, but it's still good to see these characters again. I fell in love with the writing, the drawings, the story, the characters, and it's one of my favorite graphic novels ever. I'm so in love with this and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars and it's definitely going to be one of my top 10 reads for this year. If you haven't read it yet, I'll leave the links in the doobly-doo where you can buy it and don't forget to tell me in the comments if you read it and if you like it and if you didn't and I hope you guys liked my first review here. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!